But it's really good to be back though. Sherry's gonna be pulling up in just a minute. So this feels weird. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry's driving. Oh yeah. Yeah. I never do that. No. The last couple of days have just been meetings and pitches and proposals and stuff like that. But today we're doing a little bit of scouting for an event slash tour. I figured I'd bring you along. We're, we're gonna hit up a brewery and... All right, so this is the place here. It's not really what you expect when you hear brewery. Like you can actually see the brewery itself over there. It, it is basically winter, so he's turned this on for us. And when I come in here, there's a nice little garden. Look at that. I have the opportunity to sit here and do this in such a beautiful area. My only regret is I didn't bring the drone. I'm so sorry. It wouldn't fit in my bag. There's weight limits. And because it's such a local brewery, like people just drive by and they come out of the shop and just hang out with them and talk on the street. I love it. I might love it too much. Oh, all right, so I just polished off like four pints of beer and now we're heading back. Obviously, obviously I'm not driving this time. I'm gonna be leaving the driving up to Sherry. The driving dance. That's the drive, there's a driving dance? I'm driving. Why didn't anybody tell me about the driving dance? <laughs> So we've stopped to grab some ramen for dinner and as we walked by here I saw one of the most gorgeous sunsets that I've ever seen and I kind of just wanted to stop and show you guys this. It is noon on Wednesday now. And uh, yeah, yesterday, yesterday just kind of ended. And amazingly, I bought more beer at night. I know. <sighs> I mean, you drank the whole can. So. Yeah. yeah. Today we had a meeting in the morning. Uh, we just finished up a little bit of shopping. And tonight we have the Bonenkai for our NPO. It was like a really long podcast. <laughs> it was. It was. Well, that a special edition. We, we basically, we've been having the same argument for like the last year at least about like whether or not it's better to live in Matsuyama or better to live in Tokyo. And we took that argument to the podcast. Sherry made a pretty case. Anyways, tonight, tonight we have something called a Boninkai. Yay! Just this, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And one of the big New Year's things is the Bonenkai season. It's like if you work for a company, you go out for drinks and all that stuff. And then there's Shinenkai at the beginning of the year. Some places do both, some do one or the other. Mm. But Bonenkai is like a basically a way to just wrap a ribbon around the year yeah. and like... And actually as I record this and as I talk to you, we're, we're sitting in Sherry's office right here in Matsuyama. And I know we've talked about it before, but we put together an NPO over the last year a non-profit organization focused on communications and social media and everything like that. So tonight we're all getting together and doing our end of year party. You know, I really thought that after quitting my job, I wasn't gonna have any bone kai this year. <laughs> I am hungry though. <laughs> Just learned a new phrase called cute aggression. I'd never heard it before, but apparently it's a real thing. I'm gonna have Jasmine explain it. So cute aggression is when you see something cute, you get angry, you're like, hey, you kind of want to squeeze that because it's so cute. That's cute aggression. <laughs> I'd never even heard of that before. 
We are finished up with the Bo Ning Kai. This place is closing up and they are kicking us out, so we are gonna get out of here. It is the next morning now, and uh, we are off to the area of Dogo Onsen. So I thought this Mercedes Benz had like a really cool fall design, but it actually just had leaves all over it. That was neat. <laughs> Behind me is Dogo Onsen Station. This is like the fanciest Starbucks ever. Sherry, you did a video on it, right? Yes, I did. I'll just link that right there. Also, this is called the Bochan Risha. It's worth noting that this train actually runs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't expect that to just happen like that. A couple years ago, we had Sharla and two shamisen players called Kiki come out here, and they had they had the opportunity to take the train. I think I like. Did we drive alongside of it yes, so I could yes, get like yes. shots of the train for your guys' video? <laughs> that was crazy. I was not a YouTuber at that time. I was just recording for other people's videos. We're coming up on Dogo Onsen right now and I just kind of wanted to introduce you guys to Dogo Onsen because the last time I was here I was shooting other people's videos and not my own. This is it right here. This particular onsen is said to be the inspiration for Spirited Away, like the onsen in there. There's actually several onsens that like he took from, but it's gonna be closed for seven years. Mind you, the staff told me just the upper floors. Oh, okay. The baths themselves are still gonna be open the whole time. Cool. So if you're coming out and you wanna check it out, you won't be able to stay in these upper floors and everything like that, but you will be able to go in and take a bath, so. We just climbed these stairs expecting something epic and amazing. Let me turn the camera around and show you what we got. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> well. So disappointing. <laughs> this is really cool. There was actually like a Tyco in here. It was raining, so I put away my DSLR and I'm recording this on the GoPro for now. So the lighting is gonna be absolutely terrible, but I'm gonna try and show you anyway. Look at that. It's really nice, eh, Sherry? Yeah. You, you look so ready for rain. <laughs> we are on a mountain. Yeah. And on this mountain there is? Matsuyama Castle. Yeah. It's my second time being up there. Second time, right? Oh, second time? I don't think I've really? come up here three times. Really? When was my this is my third time. Being, we, we just had a discussion. I was like, this is my second time. She's like, no, it's not. It's your third time. <laughs> First time was the first time I came to Ehime. Second time was when Charla was here, and this is my third time up to the castle. And we've just been shooting video content up here and checking out the views. You know what? I'm just I'm just gonna give you guys like five seconds. Of so, do you have any cool facts about Matsuyama Castle? Cool facts. Um. Matsuyama Castle itself is kind of rare because it's top of the mountain. Oh. Not so many, many like Lord wants to build a castle on top of the mountain because like if they, some, somebody else attack them, they can't escape, right? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's, I think there are only few castles in Japan that are on top of the mountain. Okay. <laughs> Look at this, Sherry. Yep. <laughs> Sherry's like trying to get in the car. She's having no part of this. Wow. Just wow. That's a nice Christmas tree. I'll give it six stars. It's cool that I was able to do some like touristy-esque things here in Matsuyama this time considering the number of times I've been here. If you were to come out here, what would you do? And there we go, back into the noise and excitement of Tokyo. Hope that you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, it would mean the world to me if you would give it some love. By the way, did you guys have a favorite part of this trip? If you did, let me know.